D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Down below, you can find the articles that I uh, read to bring you this video. And you can read them for yourself, or you can just watch this video where I break them all down for you and then uh, go about your way. Um, before I get started, though, also, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We always get shoved to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. So let's go ahead and get started. Foria just ended its second season. And in my opinion, not on a good note. I I thought the season finale sucked. That that song was like so long. I don't know if you know, you know, but uh, uh, I was just like, man, can we uh, fast forward and everything? But uh, Javon Walton has just been added to the extensive cast uh, for the Umbrella Academy season three. Now, um, he plays uh, Ashtray on Euphoria. And if again, if you see all that season finale for season two, uh, you uh, his his fate has not been, you know, 100 percent confirmed. Uh, but. Uh, if it is, that sucks. But uh, and if you know, again, if you know, you know, if you don't know, that's OK. Now, who uh, will he be playing? It has not been revealed uh, as far as what uh, character he's going to be, be playing in uh, um, the Umbrella Academy season three. But my best guess is he's going to be playing one of the Sparrow Academy members, which one I have no idea. I didn't read those comic books. I still haven't read those comic books. I, I probably should, but I just I haven't. But I do I do like this Javon Walton guy on Euphoria. So I think that this is a plus as far as uh, um the Academy, uh, the Umbrella Academy uh, goes. Um, it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, who he is going to play and what he does in there. Um, so who is Javon Walton? For those of you who don't watch Euphoria, he is in Euphoria, both season one and season two, which I think he does a great job in that show. His character is very interesting. Um, but he also was in a show called Utopia. That's where he first started out. I have not seen that movie. And then he also does the voice of Pugsley Adam in The Adams Family 2, um, which I did enjoy that movie. Uh, so I think he does a good job uh, doing voice acting. Now, uh, Netflix, uh, they did confirm this. They, they had they put out this tweet and they had said, I heard a rumor, uh, which is from Rumor on, on there, which we'll talk about that actress, uh, uh, Emmy uh, Raver uh, Lapman. Uh, but she had said, I heard a rumor that Javon Walton is joining the cast of Umbrella Academy season three. And I'm happy to confirm that that is true. And I thought that that was a fun tweet. I think that... Uh, um, I think Duke playing off on that I heard a rumor thing is, is really great. And speaking of rumor, uh, that character, um, uh, Allison Hargraves, the actress that plays her, Emmy Ra Raver Lappin, Lapman, she uh, was asked about the latest season and she said, we're running adjacent to the graphic novels, which that kind of concerns me, but I think that they've done a good job so far, um, but we'll see. But um, I don't think Steve is beholden at all to the graphic novels. Uh, by needing it to be something that's uh, verbatim, verbatim, it needing to reflect exactly what's happening in the graphic novels and what's happening on screen. But I do know that uh, Gerard and Steve <laughs> are in constant communication, so I don't doubt that they both know what the other has ideas and what the other is thinking. I think we're uh, there will be there will always be a connection there. But the further we get into the Umbrella Academy, the TV show, I think it's finding its own way. It's finding its own route, which is exciting. This third season, we're really, really doing our own thing. And I think that the show has found some really cool plots to follow and explore. Now, this does make me nervous in the sense that I don't know if I like that or not. I think that. <clears throat> I think that it's it's good to keep to the source material as close as possible with adding your own flavor. I think season two did a good job of that, but they added that one character in there. I don't remember her name, but she uh, she could mimic your powers. I think that that was a good addition because I she's I don't think she's in the comic book. But I think that I think that sticking as close to the source material as you can while being artistically expressive is always a good thing. 
Um, I think I think Game of Thrones is a great example of fi- of finding your own path. Um, I, because I personally didn't like their path, and I don't know if this season three. I hope that their path is not, uh, you know, is not muddied and everything. I hope that I hope I hope it's just good. That's that's all I'm hoping for. That's all I'm hoping for. So that is, and and uh, as far as Javon Walton goes, uh, good for him. I'm super happy for him. I always wish nothing but the best for people. Now, tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about Javon Walton joining the cast of the Umbrella Academy for season three? Who do you think he's going to play? Do you like him on Euphoria? Um, you know, what do you think about him as an actor? Did you know he has a twin brother? I did, yeah, I just found that out while doing this story. It's so interesting. Uh, I like how they're like uh, his brother who looks like him. And I'm like, yeah, because they're twins. Come on, come on. But uh, yeah, uh, would tell me what you guys think about Javon Walton getting that uh, that part. I wish him nothing but the best. All right, so tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.